In this demonstration video, we're going to look at some notation and parsing style questions. So the question here says, are the following symbolic sentences official, informal, or not well formed? Circle your answer. If it is official or informal, draw an arrow above the main connective. It is not well formed, draw an arrow or arrows over the mistake or mistakes in the sentence. So this is a pretty straightforward question and what it's asking. We just need to make sure we're happy with the official and, and informal notation rules for well-formed formulas and well-formed sentences, and that will help us identify what's not well-formed. So let's take a look at the first one, A. We have bracket P or Q, and we have AND, R, arrow, S, biconditional Z, or W. So what we can just sort of look at very quickly is whether or not we think this is a, a well-formed sentence in general. And so far there's no glaring mistakes. All the letters are from P through Z. It doesn't look like we have an odd number of brackets or anything so out of the ordinary. So right now it seems like it's official or informal. So what we want to do to check between official and informal is we need the exact same number of sets of brackets as there are binary connectives. So there's one binary connective, there's another, two, three, four, five binary connectives, but I actually see I have one, two, three, four sets of open brackets, which and four sets of close. So this is an actually not an official, so it's an informal notation. So basically nothing looks wrong, but we don't have brackets around the whole thing. If I had brackets around the whole thing, which would be the brackets around that conjunction, then it would be official, but we don't have those. So what's the main connective here? Some people might be uh, sort of seduced by the biconditional here, but it's not the biconditional because the biconditional is limited by the scope of the brackets right there. So the only connective that joins everything together and unites them all is this conjunction right there. So that's the main connective. This is an informal notation. Now we look down at B, we got P arrow S, disjunction, negation, W, or T or Z. Uh, again, nothing sort of looks too fishy here. I see that I have this, 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 and this all on the same level, but that's actually okay because I don't have any sort of weird combinations of things. And the nice thing is we know that the hierarchy of connectives says the conditional dominates. So it sort of looks like this should be the main connective. Now does everything else check out? That means the P arrow S or negation W is the antecedent and T or Z is the consequent. That looks good and I have the brackets around P or S, that's fine, but clearly not enough brackets for it to be in official notation. This also checks out, we are in informal. Now lastly, for this, it looks like I have a lot of brackets, so it might be in official notation. Nothing stands out either in the sense that I'm still using letters P through Z, I don't have any sort of weird things where multiple connectives next to each other and so on. But if we take a close look, we might be tempted to say it's official, but it's not. There is something wrong here. And so what you can see is I have one uh, binary connective there, another binary connective there, and another binary connective there. So if this was an official notation, I should expect three open sets of brackets. But I actually have one, two, three, and four open brackets with four closed brackets. So same numbers open and closed, that's good. But I have what seems to be an extra amount of brackets. Uh, so what's the problem here? Well, the problem seems to be that uh, the brackets are around something it's not supposed to be around. And if you actually look, this S air, uh, conditional, sorry, uh, conjunction P has those brackets. This Q, the conjunction has those ones. The by conditional has these ones. So what is this big outer set around? It's actually around the main connective of the sentence. And the main connective of the sentence is that negation there. But you cannot have brackets around a negation, so in fact, this thing is not well formed. Because you can't have brackets around a unary connective. Let's do another question real quick. So same question format. We got A, B, C, and we just want to pick if it's official, informal, or not well formed, just like before. So we look at A. And uh, here, I have two binary connectives, and I have two open sets, two closed sets. Everything's from P through Z. Everything looks like it checks out. I don't have anything sort of too funny. So this actually does look like official notation. And the main connective is the negation, because the conditional is limited in scope by these brackets here, which means that the, the conditional is modifying all these letters, but it's not reaching out towards the negation. So it's the negation that is reaching everything. Next, we have P arrow 
bracket w or s and r bracket bracket again two opens two close but i have three binary connectives so it might be informal uh, all the letters check out but of course there is a mistake here and the mistake is that i can't have an or and an and on the same level that's ambiguous i cannot apply the right hand rule there uh, so this is not well formed and I've highlighted the mistakes. Actually, that just reminds me. I said the mistakes over here, but I didn't highlight the mistakes by putting an arrow over it. It's these outer brackets cannot be around the negation. Okay, let's go back to this question. So the, the here, the mistakes were the or and the and, just like we said, and so it's not well formed. Finally, we have this, question C. Uh, it's not inofficial. I can just sort of see I don't have enough brackets. Uh, so it's either informal or not well formed. All the letters check out again. So is it reasonable? Well, the only issue is this double conjunction here. Over here, this is all good. The main connective of this inside thing is clearly the conditional because the arrows dominates over all the other connectives. But what about this? Here I have the uh, two uh, hats or the two ands. But of course that's okay because if I have a string of ands or a string of ors all in a row, I know that it's the right one, that is the main connective. So this is in fact informal because of the bracket situation and it is perfectly well formed. Okay, so that's how you do some quick sort of parsing and uh, how to look at the main connective and identify official, not well formed or informal. You just need to be comfortable with the core rules of what you're allowed to do and not allowed to do. And you want to develop a strong intuition about this so you can solve these questions quite quickly.